has concluded that this question of when, not if, an armed conflict with Russia and or China begins. Now preparations are underway to ensure that the U.S. is ready for such a war. On Tuesday, there were three congressional hearings which showed how far advanced these preparations are. The Senate Armed Service Committee had a hearing on cyber warfare. A subcommittee of the House Armed Services Committee discussed the U.S. aircraft carrier fleet, and another talked about the monitorization of the U.S. nuclear weapons. There were no discussions of the implications of World War III, only plans for how the U.S. could prevail. As such, the ideal of World War III is being normalized in the minds of the policy planners. Attendees discussed previous meetings and ideals, illustrating that the plans have been drawn up for over an extended period of time now. Far from being a response to a recent geopolitical events, they are part of a long-lasting scheme. At each of the hearings, a conflict between major world powers was discussed in a short time frame. War is predicted to occur in a matter of years rather than decades and it will be with other nation states rather than a terrorist group. The hearings were devoted to working out which techniques, assets, and human resources the U.S. needs to win such a war, and the acceptance of a conflict was evident among Democrats as well as Republicans. Although the mainstream media reports that Washington is divided along party lines on this issue, politicians seem to agree. The U.S. is preparing for World War III. Some very mysterious maneuvers over the Pacific are forcing a change in LAX landings late at night. Eyewitness News reporter Joy Rand tells us that means more noise for thousands of people in the flight path. He's live near the airport tonight. Jory? That's right, Michelle. Something is going on out there over the Pacific Ocean. What it is, the military isn't saying. What we do know is that whatever is going on is causing planes which normally avoid flying over the flight path after midnight to ease up on some of that noise for folks. Well, they're going to keep doing that, and it's going to happen all night long. You may not know it because you're asleep by then, but every night after midnight, a change takes place at LAX. Instead of landing from the east over Inglewood, planes begin flying in from the west over the ocean to keep noise levels down. But due to secret military operations, the airspace out over the Pacific is closed to incoming flights for the next week. That means residents in the flight path will hear this all night long. So I can imagine for the next week, they're going to fly over 24 hours? No, that's going to be crazy. We clearly understand that neighbors and communities east of the airport will experience noise. And we apologize for that. But what's causing the change? The military isn't talking. Even LAX is in the dark. Any idea what the military operations are? No. All they know is planes can't be flying at low altitudes to the west. 